So I just want to make a really quick video about the Bamboo Labs controversy. And I was going to go to my friend who I got set up with an A1 Mini to his place to explain it. But I think it actually makes more sense explaining it with this Ender 5 Pro. So this printer is from 2022. And uh, right now I am running Orca Slicer on it. So I think what a lot of people are upset about is that they've tr basically turned off your ability to connect right to your Bamboo Labs printer through Orca Slicer. So for me, I could send this print right to the printer. I could go over here. I can adjust my temperature. I can move my printer around. I can even go to, into the terminal and send codes directly to my printer. And so you can do a lot of that stuff through Bamboo Studios, but the fact that people bought a Bamboo Labs printer with the ability to do that and they've taken it away without, you know, talking to the community, without giving people an option to opt out of it. Um, so I know people can, like, not upgrade their firmware. But I think I'd be pretty mad if Creality came to me and said, you know what, we decided you can't use Octoprint and you can't use Orca Slicer and you have to use the slicer we tell you. And even though Bamboo... Studio and the Handy app are really good. I actually really recommend them to people. It's basically Bamboo saying, we think we're, we think we're such a good printer manufacturer that you only can stick with what we tell you. And, you know, you use the stuff we let you use it when that's it. But there's a lot of people out there who want to have an open source uh, printer so they can put mods on it like this. Like I, this is my own extruder and it, or this is a micro Swiss MG Revo, but it wasn't like super easy to install, but there was the option to install it. And Bamboo Labs with taking away some of that functionality and locking it down, it's gonna be a lot harder for people to do that. Um, one of the things I know a lot of people are upset about is the Panda Touch. So you used to be able to plug a Panda Touch into a P1S, or an X1 Carbon. And now that's gonna have very limited functionality. So my advice to somebody looking for a 3D printer in 2025 is maybe steer clear of Bamboo. You know, if you, unless you know that you are completely happy with Bamboo Studio and the Bamboo Handy app, and you are okay with the possibility that they might say you can't use other filament. Um, basically what it comes down to is Bamboo is basically becoming the Apple of the 3D printer world. So everything they make works great. It's fast. Um, it's optimized. And that there's a caveat there. It works great if you use everything they tell you to. Um, so if that's what you're looking for is just like a really fast, good printer and you're willing to pay for the Bamboo Labs filament, which isn't too much more expensive, um, you know that is an option. But if you ever want to upgrade your printer or if you want to be able to say, hey, I want to use a different slicer. I actually like the way Orca Slicer works and um, I am excited because there's scarf seams and this is an open source community that keeps releasing uh, new interesting things if you're okay missing out on that, by all means get a Bamboo Labs to, uh, printer. I, I love the A1 Mini. Would I buy one now? No. But if I was new to 3D printing, I would consider it. Um, I'd consider it especially if I wasn't looking to ever upgrade the machine and I really trusted Bamboo. I don't trust them for, at the moment because basically them locking down that firmware without even like having a straightforward discussion with the community and giving the, them the option to say like, no, I don't want this. Um, that's, they basically broken the trust they had with a lot of people. And I really, really liked their printers. Um, if, if you look back at some of my videos, uh, you know, it's really praising their printers, but they basically done what, what, I wanted them to do, which is basically push the rest of the industry forward. So now Creality has a really great printer that's come out. 
Um, there's tons of other manufacturers. AMS is coming out. The new Prusas look awesome. So, you know, if you have a Bamboo Labs, I'm not saying your printer sucks because it's they're still great printers. But if you're getting new in the hobby, there's so many other options out there and it's a great time to be getting into the hobby. And if you are interested in open source at all, I'd steer clear of Bamboo. Um, so I hope this helps if you are looking to buy a new printer or maybe even just got a Bamboo Labs printer because I think no matter what boat you're in, you're good. You know, um, you did get a, a really decent printer and I think Bamboo Labs is gonna backtrack on a lot of this. Um, so by no means am I saying to boycott Bamboo Lab, I'm just saying there's other options out there. And Bamboo Labs kind of took all of the great stuff about the open source community, they packaged it into a great printer, and now they're saying like, we don't want that open source community anymore. But the good news is the rest of the community uh, has caught up. So we have other options and uh, the prices of other things are, are fair now. So yeah, it's a great time to be getting into this hobby. Thank you so much for watching.